first paleo challenge was about a year ago. And that was a rough one because I really thought that I'd miss especially dairy, cheese, butter, and ice cream. And I found substitutes for all the cheese and I have no desire for cheese anymore, so it's good. It's amazing what, what's in things. I think I found that too, I've learned that too. It's amazing what's in stuff. Like, try and find bacon that doesn't have sugar in it. It's amazing. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to try and find that. But. I did it to lose weight. Just, I've always worked out, but have never been able to just finish losing weight. And so, I, my motivation was to shed pounds. CrossFit Scottsdale's goal is elite fitness. Part of that elite fitness is a nutrition part. The uh, working out effectively is only half as good if you are fueling your body properly. So at CrossFit Scottsdale we do nutrition challenges and part of that is to come together as a collective school and support each other in a lifestyle change. We wanted to be strict with our paleo diet in this case and it was 40 days in the cave. So we spent 40 days being very strict with the paleo diet and focusing on that piece of the lifestyle, making sure we're fueling our body the way we need to so that we can get that elite fitness and changing that lifestyle so it is a lifestyle, not just a diet. Well, the reason I did this project, I did one um, a couple of months ago and felt really good. And the reason I did this particular challenge is um, I was on vacation and then after I came back from vacation, I was just eating like crap and I felt really bad. I felt like my stomach and, and I wasn't performing as well in workouts and I was like, you know, falling asleep at my desk and things like that. And I knew from the previous challenge that this, it, the way of eat, the paleo way of eating just makes me feel a lot better, even just in normal life outside of exercising. Um, so that was kind of my, the catalyst for trying this one. And the challenge is just a really good way to have um, accountability from other people and you know, someone to look after you and say, hey, how have you been eating this week? Or things like that. So that was kind of the catalyst for me to do it. I don't know about you. Um, for me, it was more of hitting a plateau. Um, just, ex this is more of an experiment for me. Cause I really, um, you know, CrossFit's obviously done some, some differences in my life, but then, um, you know, I just wanted to see, is that next little step that I need to cross um, being paleo, and I don't mean, you know, the 60-40, 70-30 thing that I've been doing, but more of um, 100%. And I know that if I didn't do something like a challenge, I just wouldn't do it. And so it's more of an experiment to see what the effect will be. I've tried everything. I've done Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, Diet Pills, Atkins. <laughs> I have. I've done everything. And this just makes sense. It's easy. It's clean. You don't have to count calories. I don't have to keep track of anything. And it's just simple. So it's made me feel so much better and in control. Yeah, I feel a lot better. I have a lot more energy. Need, you know, I sleep significantly less. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning and instead of just going, oh, you know, looking at the clock and thinking, okay, I gotta get up and go. Now I actually wanna get up. So it just feels a lot better. It puts me in a better mood and I feel like I have a longer day and I'm more productive and you know, don't come back after work and lay down on the couch and just be like, all right, I'm, I'm done for the day. I feel like I can just keep going until I'm ready for bed. I started with the first challenge a year ago. And before that, I was never big on processed food. I do love to cook. So buying things in a package was never that appealing except for the little blue box of Kraft macaroni and cheeses was always a comfort food. I still have a few boxes hid up in my cabinet. And, um, but I did eat a lot of carbohydrates, um, grains, pasta. I was never big on bread, so that hasn't been too hard. What else? Rice. Um, but you know, I really don't miss it all. Uh, CrossFit in here three years. Started the challenge at 208 pounds, weighed in at about 198, uh, 188 this morning. So good weight loss. Uh, five inches on my waist, and didn't lose any on my bicep or my chest, which is good, because I did paleo last year and lost a lot of muscle. So. And I lost 14 pounds, um, three and a half inches off my waist, which I was excited about. I don't know why I thought I'd lose more, but I'm actually really happy with 14. So body fat went down, everything went down, so I feel good.
I'm Bill Hubert. Um, I lost 15, 16 pounds. Um, I think it went from 23% body fat to 17% around there, so I feel pretty good about that. Um, you know, for the most part, I just feel a lot better overall, regardless of the weights and measurements and, you know, how we did on the wad. I feel just better and ready to start the day and excited to be uh, six weeks in and ready to do another six more. My results were very good, more than what I thought they would be. I lost um, just about 2% in body fat. I lost over two inches just in my thighs alone. Uh, my inches in my hips were about another one or two inches. Um, and I'm very happy with the results and I'll continue on the paleo because it's just an ongoing lifestyle. So I lost, I think it was about six pounds and like three to four inches off my waist. So that was good. But my real goal through the whole thing was to get back into eating healthy and eating a paleo lifestyle and so that was to have all of the um, uh, support from everyone that was that was really the ultimate goal and that really was accomplished with everybody um, kind of talking about what, what their challenges were and everything like that so that was my goal and that really definitely got accomplished for sure. So. Yeah and my goal is similar um, I just wanted to understand what eating healthy would do in general so that that way once this challenge is over you know what what kind of things I need to do to be 80 90 percent paleo I, mean, I really don't have any intention of being 100 percent but um, you know how it feels to have eaten healthy for that amount of time and so I, I think I lost like eight pounds but um, to Aaron's point I mean, that wasn't the biggest thing for me it was just learning what that is and, and what that looks like on a daily basis um, final results I lost uh, about six pounds or so uh, which is 2.4% body fat, lost three inches off my waist. Um, chest and neck, I think, stayed the same, but uh, moving in the right direction. Um, the thing I like about these paleo challenges is that it sort of forces you and encourages you to, to eat right and follow this diet. And every time it has results, um, every time all of these people have results, um, and as long as you, you keep with it little by little, you'll keep progressing towards your ultimate goal. That's weight loss or uh, increased physical ability. You just keep with it and uh, you'll get to where you want to be. I lost 9 pounds of fat and gained 7 pounds of muscle. My body fat went from 21.6 to 15.3. So it was a very positive experience. I'd already lost 43 pounds of fat before that, so it was harder for me to continue my weight loss and it still was extremely effective. I really enjoy the diet. It was something I've been doing for a while and it works very well. I perform very well on it. All right, so the results of the Paleo Challenge. We had 20 people go through the 40 days in the cave and here were their collective results. Total inches lost, 72, with an average of 3.5 per person. Total pounds lost, 173 pounds, averaging eight pounds per person lost. Total body fat, 72% body fat loss collectively, and averaging 3% decrease in body fat per person.